Hey guys, today we are going to be doing some stuff around the farm. So today is a pretty bright and sunny day. As you can tell, the sun is in my eyes. There was a fly on my arm. Um, anyway, it is a bright, sunny day today. The sun is blinding me as I'm trying to film for you guys. But anyway, today we have a few farm chores to do. My mom and dad have been working on the garage carport build today. They've been working all day. They just got home. They had to go and get something. They, they had to get a saw blade, I think, to cut the metal that is like strong enough or made to cut metal that we're putting on the roof. So anyway, we got that. And I'm, we're just gonna be doing some farm chores today. And anyway, I'm trying to find a place where the sun won't blind me while I'm talking to y'all um, over here. under a tree now where it's pretty cool right now it's like 85 degrees outside which is pretty warm in the sunshine but I'm here in the shade so it's only like 75 I would say so it feels pretty nice out here but as I was walking I was in the pole barn if you guys remember I was giving some hay to the goat willow and I was going to film there but there was a chicken snake just laid out across the thing I couldn't get a video of it because I couldn't the sun was like right on it and it was like hard to get it without like the sun getting in the way. So I couldn't really get a good picture of it, but it was just a long, like I would say maybe five or six foot long chicken snake sitting there. Um, so I could not film there unfortunately. So I just kind of had to find a different place. So I walked up here um, at the front of the property and now I am sitting here because it feels good under this tree. So I decided to sit here for a little bit, but I wanted to tell you guys a story of when I was probably eight years old I was very young it was like our fir our like first year of farming this was back at our other house on our very first farm we lived on five acres if you guys can't remember some of you wonderful faithful viewers have been with us for that long and you guys probably remember um, when we lived on a five acre farm um and but since then we've moved to a 30 acre farm but anyway that reminded me seeing the snake um that reminded me of when i was very young it was our first year of farming i was probably eight or nine years old um no older than eight or nine years old i would say and we i think we had a few goats i think um this was our first year of farming so of course we were small um and we had our um, goats. I think we had a few goats and I think we had our great Pyrenees dog um, Noah. I forgot his name. I don't know how I went blank on his name there for a second, but his name was Noah. He was a great Pyrenees. We had him for a while, but I remember we had chickens. I can't remember how many chickens we had. We had quite a few though. It was like 10 or 15 chickens or something and they were laying us wonderful eggs. They, they, they were laying a lot of eggs. They were doing awesome. And so I was, of course, not a very seasoned farmer. Um, you know, I wasn't as, um, I didn't really, I wasn't, I'm trying to think of the right word for myself back then. I definitely wasn't used to seeing a lot of snakes. I had probably never seen a snake like up close in the wild my brother used to have a pet snake my older brother he used to have a pet snake um so of course like i would see that like through the tank glass and stuff um but other than that i have never seen a snake in my life probably 
before moving on to that farm and I so I went to get the eggs one day this is a really embarrassing story for me to tell but I know a lot of people like hearing it um, so I think all of our family knows about this story because it is a really funny story I must say it is a really funny story um, but anyway I was going in there to get the eggs we were getting a ton of eggs at that time so I was super happy expecting to get a lot of eggs really excited and I walked in there and there was a chicken snake I can see the picture perfectly in my head it was quite frightening for like an eight-year-old so um, the snake it was like six foot long it was a chicken snake uh, but of course back then I didn't know what it was I just knew it was frightening um, so it was just a chicken snake and it had took and put itself through the chick through the um, chicken netting through the chicken wire and it got in the chicken wire and it was just like hanging down and then it was like hanging down from the wire and then the nesting boxes were right here it had gone down from the chicken wire and then it went into the boxes so that thing was half in and half out and I just remember walking in there and being extremely extremely frightened by this big long snake I didn't know what it was this big long snake sitting there and so my mom was in the garden tending to the garden doing something in there so she probably heard my very loud screams um, and when I say screams I mean terrified shrieks um, she probably heard him and she um, she ran down there and um, I remember she was dealing with it um, and all that and I ran up the hill and we used to live on terrace property so it was like uphill and the chicken coop was downhill and then we went uphill to the house and I remember running up the hill I fell down and then I got back up and I continued running so what happened was I was extremely frightened I screamed and shrieked uh, terrified and I was running up the hill I was running so hard I guess I just fell down or something and then I got back up and I ran back up um, the hill and don't know where I went after that I probably went to hide under my bed or something um, but that was back when I was not a seasoned not a seasoned farmer I guess I would say you know I definitely didn't know what it was and that was before I had any reptiles like I used to keep grasshoppers so that was like when I had grasshoppers um, but did not was not interested at all in reptiles yet I got interested in reptiles when I was like 9 or 10 um, I would say like 10 years old probably um, and then when I started getting used to reptiles like I used to kept little green lizards and then after that I would get interested in snakes I used to watch some uh, YouTube channels that had snakes um, that like kept snakes and then I started getting interested in snakes and um, and then by the second time I ever saw a snake that was the first time I'd ever seen a chicken snake in the chicken coop that close to me and then uh, the second time um, my dad was grilling something on the grill and I went to get the eggs and ever since then um, or since then um, after that time of like going to the chicken coop I was always like scared to go in the chicken coop after that I would like have to get my mom or my sister and my dad to go in with me because I was scared um, but you know after that eventually it wore off and I would say probably um, I don't know four or five months later another snake gotten in the chicken coop and was eating the eggs so I did not see my mom wasn't outside my dad was outside grilling though so I was I started screaming for my father and um, and he came he came down there and dealt with the snake but um, that was a second time so I did not take off running though so by then I was getting better all I did was scream for my father that time um, but and then by the second or the third or fourth time um, it eventually got easier and I stopped screaming I learned that you shouldn't scream because that scares them away you should just be calm and because snakes if you don't know like they can feel vibration so if you're running then the snake will like run away because they can feel the vibration from like the stomping on the ground and the running um, but of course I didn't know that back then because I was just interested in running away as fast as I could so um, that's a story time of my very first time I saw a snake and then the second time as I said it, it got easier and I got more immune to it and I got more used to it and by now and usually I'll just stare at it and then I'll just like walk away and leave it alone 
um, and then just kind of, you know, but I think identifying snakes really helps. Like, um, definitely make sure you know your snakes, like the snakes that are in your area. Um, make sure you know chicken snakes, king snakes. Um, those are ones that we see all the time around here is chicken snakes and king snakes. But anyway, we got some more farm chores to do and some things in the garden to do. So let's go back and start doing those things instead of sitting here talking about snakes all day. Right here are the yellow daylilies that bloom every day around Mother's Day or every year around Mother's Day. Um, I remember the first time we saw them bloom this year was like the day before Mother's Day. So these are the Mother's Day daylilies that always bloom around Mother's Day. It is past Mother's Day and they are still blooming. So hopefully they'll bloom into June. That would be pretty cool. This one just opened. This is like a dark red pinkish purple color very pretty day lily here we have can't remember what the name of this flower is um i cannot remember what the name of it is but it is big it's dropping pollen on itself but big a lot of flowers coming on it and then um this one is about to bloom i can't wait for this one this one looks like it's going to be a pretty pretty flower as i said i have no idea what kind it is my mom knows the names of all of them i do not she does though um but and then we have some more daylilies i think these are just like orange and like the typical daylily colors like orange right i think that's the proper colors that most daylilies are is like orange and like a fiery orange color so i'm taking a quick check at the garden looking good it's looking very good sunflowers are doing good some little um tomatoes you can see all right here is where I planted corn. Um, I replanted some in the spaces that it didn't come up. We planted that, but actually I'm very happy most of it did come up, especially here at this first row. And I know there's weeds. I'm gonna try to get those up, but I don't wanna hurt the little corn. So I'm trying to wait until they get a little bit bigger. Here's a bee here. Definitely want him to stick around so we won't dwell on these tomatoes very long. But we do got some little tomatoes coming on. You can see there. Pretty. They're good looking tomatoes. Cucumbers. This is a bush cucumber, by the way. Oh, uh, these are the. This is called a moss rose. Pretty. They do look pretty good. And this, this is uh, purple sage. Stevia, Dusty Miller, uh, Sun Gold. So, oh, that one's looking good. That pepper right there. All the other ones are looking good too. So anyway, I just take my just once a day walk around the garden, once or twice a day, I just walk around and kind of look at everything, make sure everything's going well. I do, I know I have a few weeds to pull, but can't get them all pulled. Like I'm working on it, like every day I'm working on it, but I feel like it's impossible to like pull every single weed. Like that's just impossible. Um, so anyway, we got some zinnias here. These are looking good. It looks like they'll be blooming soon zinnias all over the place like look at these zinnias i think this is zinnia right here it feels like zinnia if you guys can see right here like that feels like zinnia you know like how you can tell like what's a zinnia like you can feel it and it has that like the if you've ever felt a zinnia you know what i'm talking about i planted marigolds right here they didn't come up unfortunately i think i um didn't water them enough but so no Z no marigolds this year but you know, the flowers are looking good. So, anyway, let's go into the woods and see. Can't film in the woods much because our neighbors are cutting grass. Um, and don't want y'all to hear their mower in the background. But, anyway, I would take y'all to see the muscadines over there. They are looking a little bigger. Um, not much bigger, but they are getting a little bigger. The muscadines on the things. Um, I should tell you guys about the time that I saw a snake going up a tree. I could tell you all about that. Um, or I could tell you about the time I found my dead chicken, my dead pet chicken, um, through the fence. But I'll tell you guys about that one day. Um, I'll tell you guys all about that one day later. I think one traumatic story for me is enough, um, enough dramatic storytelling for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys on the next adventure.